Hi guys, this is Fred from WP Shout. I'm here to talk to you about how to hack a theme demo so that you can communicate design ideas with your clients. Um, so here we've got, this is about 30 or 40 minutes. I pretended that Subway was my client and they're saying, we are thinking we want to redesign our site, um, but we're not sure. We don't know if we want to use WordPress and if we do want to use WordPress, we're not sure what theme we want to use, which is sort of a common, um, common position that clients are in. And I took 30 or 40 minutes, took the current subway site and this Foodica theme from WP Zoom, and I kind of redesigned it um, in browser to, um, to maybe start to resemble a site that subway would be excited about. So why do this? Well, clients, a lot of the time, they're not sure what WordPress can do, and they just can't really picture the product that you're trying to sell them. They can't picture the site that you're trying to sell them. And if you come to, we're, we're, you know, we're going to pretend... Um, that Subway are just, you know, that it actually makes sense to just build a WordPress site for Subway, which, you know, it doesn't. But, you know, if you come to folks with just this and say, your current site is this, but we think, you know, you guys would really be happy with this theme. Um, it's like a let's lost in translation. You know, people don't know, well, do we have to have the sort of janky letters for the header or can we change? Can we change that? Do we have to have the shopping cart? We don't really need that, you know? Um, are these fonts set in stone? Does it have to be blue? You know, these are like reasonable questions that you would ask if you were a client who didn't really understand web development. So, um, so the point is to give them something they can look at and that's sort of consistent with their actual brand and that they can start to feel excited about. And it takes so little work, I'll show you. And um, it can really help people sort of get to yes in terms of like, yes, I, I, I do want to use WordPress for this. Yes, I am excited about this theme. Yes, I like some of the, the design directions that you're taking it. And it can just get clients off the fence um, in terms of actually starting, uh, you know, starting a project, starting to work with you. It's, it's, it's done that for me a number of times. So I'll show you um, how I did some of these some of these things, you know, how I sort of took a half hour and, and got to here with this Foodica theme, pretending that the client is Subway. Um, so the what you're going to start with is the sort of current site, assuming the client already has a site up or whatever branding ideas they have. So Subway obviously has really a strong sort of brand identity. Um, it's got this yellow and this green, which I grabbed with this um, color pick app, which you can look up, it's free. Uh, and then probably the most interesting sort of design idea going on on the current subway site is are these sort of rays of happiness thing, um, which are implemented in a super old school way. Let me try to find it here. Um, oh, here. Where is it? Yeah, here. So like this was before responsive design. So they just like physically made an image that looks like this with like the manual gradienting and the yeah, this is just like I picked subway because I didn't want to hurt a real human's feelings by like doing this to a real site and also because subway's website is absolutely horrible like these are flash animations that i had to upgrade flash to even see like the site is not responsive yeah so um okay so we're gonna do the rays of happiness um here give me one second so we're gonna do the yeah we're gonna implement the okay let's take the subway um uh actual logo and let's replace in this theme demo let's replace all this stuff with just that so we're just going to go ahead and um, put that right in there and this works which is the awesome, super awesome thing about like the about browser inspectors is you can just live swap in images and they just and they just go um, and we're going to also try to do the the rays of happiness thing because Obviously, we're going to want to implement it a different way if, if Subway, in the parallel reality where Subway actually is our client, like we're going to want to not do the raise in this 2006 era kind of way, but I still think it's a pretty cool design idea. And um, so I experimented around with it a lot. And because the um, because of how it's done, uh, there's we just want it to show up in the header, but there's no easy way to do that. So I'm going to make it the, the background of the actual body. Um, and we're going to say it doesn't repeat. Um, let's see, background position, top center. And let's, okay, that looks pretty good. So um, 
the reason we're not going to do it in the header is because we want the header to have a white background so we don't have to see this hideous, dark, weird teal thing. So um, this inner wrap thing is the first thing that makes things only 1200 pixels wide. So I'm going to take the entire nav, cut it out, and dump it inside this inner wrap so that it has a limited width. Okay. So now we've got our whole thing inside this inner wrap. And if we give the inner wrap, oh, sorry. If we give this inner wrap a white background, then we're starting to get somewhere. Now, there's this margin going on, which is why we're still seeing that. But what if we figure out where it's coming from? OK, it's coming from this navbar brand thing. It's got a 35 pixel margin like this. OK. And let's also take off some padding so that it looks the exact same width as everything else. So what is it that's got? Okay, it's this. Um, padding 0, 30 pixels. What if we just get rid of that? Ugh, it's not so good. Um, let's just say that this one doesn't have any padding uh, and that its max width is 30 pixels smaller. Cool. All right, that looks good. All right, so um, now let's as I did in this other demo, let's let's put this all in one line. Um, so to do that, we can go ahead and make this inline block. And we can say that its max width is maybe 20%. And then um, uh, we can do the same thing with the actual nav. Um, display inline block, max width say 75 percent it doesn't have to add up to 100 and it actually makes our lives a little bit easier to, if it doesn't because of um, some of the properties of inline block i mean with with everything we're doing here we're just hacking this page we're not trying to use best practices because we're just trying to get to something visually that looks like an idea that we'd want to communicate to our client then when we go back and actually implement it for our client we do it right but in this case we don't care right so these are all inline styles and you know if you want if you want to hide something you can just display none it um, so it's actually kind of fun because you, um, you know, you can just sort of use quick bad practice. It, it, it flows very quickly because you're not worried about using best practice. Okay, let's give this like 20 pixels of padding. Great, okay. So now we pretty much have like what's starting to look like a nav bar that Subway might actually like. And then um, let's just get rid of some of these nav elements like the... Let's get rid of pastes. Don't know what that means. And let's get rid of what? This weird shopping cart and the shop itself. Is this going to ever fall into one line? Why is this always on two lines? Let's just get rid of one more and see what happens. Uh, OK. So did I set a max width? Is that why it's doing this? Let's see. Inner wrap, main nav bar. Oh, yeah, I did. I set a max width of 75. Let's just give it a width of 75. Okay, good. All right, so the header's got the subway logo in it, and it's sort of small and manageable. Let's start to um, implement some of the color and typography choices that they've made on their main site, which I think are pretty much consistent with their, with their brand. So they're using this Proxima Nova bold thing, and I checked, and they're basically using it everywhere. So... I mean, one thing we can do is just sort of set the body to have that, to have that, um, to have that font. It it looks like it's getting overridden in most places, but we can just do that. Um, and I noticed that this theme demo is actually um, creating wide letter spacing, which I don't like. So I'm going to set it not to do that by default. Um, okay, so let's get into this nav menu and make it have the subway type font. So let's see, nav bar, nav, a, okay. So let's try, okay, font, family, this. So that only did it for the current one. So main nav, okay, here we go. Font, okay, here we go. So font family is this, font weight is bold, um, font, let's, let's, reduce the font size and we're going to go ahead and color it subway style so let's say that the default is 
the subway green, and then the um, the current one is getting this blue, but let's just make it some sort of gray. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but okay. Um, what if we made it the subway yellow? Would that look any good? No, too bright. Um, maybe we should make the current one the green and all the other ones sort of a gray. Maybe we can just underline it. Um, so I'll make them all green. Yeah, I mean, that's not great, but let's just leave it. Um, uh, that's frustrating. Okay, we will make the current one, what? Gray, black? Okay, let's just leave it black. I don't know. Um, again, this is just for the purposes of, of, uh, like having some of just sort of showing you how to do this so it doesn't really matter um all right so so we've got sort of our navs in our nav and the fonts that we want and this top nav could be decent for for you know stuff that um for somebody like i guess subway who, who needs like a complicated nav experience because um because they have too many things to fit on one nav menu but it it too is in this super kind of like new agey light font and we just want to change that so top nav bar a we're going to change to the the actual subway font as well okay and let's see what else can we do um i'm, I'm actually inclined to maybe pause here again the you know the version of me doing this for like a half hour got to here i sort of hacked the slider so that it Kind of showed subway products and probably the piece of this that actually looks the best is i took the three kind of calls to action on this sort of button bar below the horrible flash sliders and um, i pulled out the images and i put them i put them in across the bar and to me you know as a potential client like if i saw this i could really sort of picture oh i can see how the site would work and you know, it, it would feel like my branding and I would, I would feel like, um, I would just feel a lot more inclined to, to take the, to take the proposal seriously. So once again, like the idea is to get from here where you're saying, Hey guys, like, I, I really love this theme, but the client has all these questions. Like, does it have to be blue? Does it have to look like this? Do the fonts have to be so light? You know, does it, does it have to be so classy looking? You know, we don't, we don't want it to look so fancy. So you know, you just put in 10 or 20 minutes of just basically hacking a page, right? And you, you get to something that actually feels like, in this case, Subway, right? This kind of feels like Subway. Of course, you know, WordPress probably isn't even the right solution for, you know, su Subway's site redesign, which I hope they do soon. But the point is, you know, as a client, you're going to respond a lot better to this, and you're going to feel like people get you a lot better than you are to just this, right? You have no idea if the if the person even understands your brand. So, yeah, so that's how you do this. As I said, as I think I said, like, I've used this and um, many, many, many times, like, just 20 minutes of this kind of work for, like, a, maybe a small business client or something will get people super excited about working with you because they know you understand their brand and they can just sort of start to feel how the site's going to come together and how it's going to look for them. They've got, like, something visually that they can look at that they're, like, excited to move forward with. So... Yeah, so that's this demo. Um, hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.